Hi everybody, welcome back, happy summer. Um, just another video in this short series of videos on um, some things that you can do over the summer to help your improvement and, and uh, keep kind of your pace going over the summer, uh, especially on the things that you're working on in the fall and in spring semesters. So uh, our graduate students will be coming out with a number of videos on this as well, but I wanted to take this opportunity to just kind of do a follow-up to my last video. So that was about the combined lip slur long tone exercise. I did that with a cello drone and some buzzing. Um, today I'm going to do a, um, a uh, kind of a simplified Remington lip slur that does a little bit of range building. Um, but uh, I'm also going to use the Portex Inspirometer like this and the cutaway mouthpiece um, like this to uh, kind of add into that so that I'm actually working on some tone production issues as well as some range building things. And so this is going to be um, an expansion. You could expand this into any partial you want. I'm just going to start on F in the middle of the staff and then expand up to an F the octave above that um, and I will be doing this with a tone generator one of the things that I'll be working on is making sure that my sixth partial F and my fifth partial D are both lining up and that I'm, I'm doing the appropriate slide um, um, uh, change there so that uh, <laughs> so that I'm actually playing in tune with the right slide position and not manipulating with my chops so this is the lip slur I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to work through that three times. So I would encourage you, if you've got some time, play along with me or do it on your own with the tone generator and just make sure uh, that you're really thinking about range building, range stability, uh, keeping your corners set and using a wind driven embouchure to make all of these notes speak. I'll be trying to do as much of this on one breath as possible. With the inspirometer, I'm gonna be actually set at about a six here. Um, so I'm kind of trying to push um, how, how much air I can use on these. So I may have to take some breaths. I recommend that you take breaths whenever you need to. If you haven't done a lot of training with the inspirometer, you may need to have a lower setting than six. So you may wanna think more about three and a half or four. Um, at least as a, a good place to start and make sure that you're really using a wind driven embouchure. If you jump up too fast, you're actually going to be doing more damage than good. So please don't do that. Stay away from that. And the same thing's true with the cutaway. Take a breath when you need it. And then what you're going to do is try to work yourself into being able to do longer and longer phrases or more and more lip slurs on the cutaway with one breath. Enjoy. So this is just another way of um, having a drone. We talked about using the cello drones on Spotify or iTunes, um, but another great tool is Tunable. So um, if you open it up and you're on the metronome side, you have to come over here to the tuner side, and uh, you want to make sure that the octave you select is the third octave, and that you have sustain checked. And then our first um, lip slur here will be an F, so you can use F. Now when you're doing this, the cool thing is you can have the drone going and you can also get some feedback from the microphone as to how you're matching that drone, um, which is really useful. There's a number of ways that you can have this set up. You might want to check your settings. Um, you can have different tone settings. I like the square wave. Um, you can have octaves in there. Um, another thing to watch out for is just in the main settings here um, in the tuner. You can have uh, equal temperament set. You could have different temperaments set in here. Your microphone sensitivity, the response speed, um, and all sorts of these these other settings. So um, you may want to have your skill level like set to advanced, so that's actually really picky with you. Um, I try not to use vibrato when I'm using tuners, so I don't deal with vibrato width. But you may need to do that if that's something you're you're messing around with. So just a quick little tutorial on how to use tunable to do tone generation.
So you can start to see how this might help build your, your tone and actually build up some range for you. I'd recommend doing this all the way out on the slide. I'd recommend finding um, a few other lip slurs, especially some lip slurs that work on the range that you need to work on, whether it's upper or lower, and do the same thing. Um, sometimes people ask me why do you have to do the Portex Inspirometer and the Cutaway at, in the same time, and I think the really big thing is if you're buzzing on your mouthpiece with the Portex Inspirometer, there is still some resistance, right? And so you can actually get away with doing some other manipulations here in your embouchure set with the mouthpiece um, that when you're doing it with the cutaway, you really can't get away with. So I think it's a great thing to actually use both tools back to back. Now you could try using the cutaway first, then playing on the horn, then playing on the inspirometer, um, or, or changing the order any, any different various ways um, just to help kind of mix it up for you and also figure out what helps you sound your best and execute these lip slurs the best. Again, with a lip slur, we're going for smooth. Um, we're trying to kind of bend the brakes so that there's not these big uh, partial hits. We don't want to go, boy, oh, 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 we're trying to go, boy, oh, 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 and you'll hear that in the buzzing. And I'm trying to do the exact same thing on the trombone. So I hope this helps. Uh, helps. I hope it gives you just a little bit something more to work on over the summer. And uh, please check out the rest of our videos as we come out with them. Have a good summer.